Okay guys, so I'm here downstairs with my mother. She's right over there. And we're gonna be taking photos of her decor stuff. So she has an Instagram and she wants to start taking better photos. So this video is all about teaching her how to take better photos. So how does that make you feel, mom? Excited and nervous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's pretty shy in front of the camera. I'm still shy as well, but you know, every video is gonna get better and better. So let's get started. Cool. So mom, first thing that we have to do is get the lighting situation like fixed. So let's turn on all the lights. Okay. Let's move this out of the shot. Where does this go, mom? I made I'll, I'll cornbread. Eat. By yourself or with dad? By myself. Oh, okay, mom. I'm in the other craft. All right guys, so the camera of choice is gonna be the Canon SL3. I actually, one of my first cameras was the SL2. I think the one that we're probably gonna use is this 50, 50 millimeter lens, which is by this off-brand company. I don't even, Yang Nuo, whatever. If you've heard of this brand, let me know. But yeah, wow, this, this looks really cinematic. It looks really good. Anyway, this is what we're gonna be using, guys. And I'm gonna have my mom shoot these photos. So, you ready, mom? Yes. Awesome, let's get it. All right, so you're gonna put the SD card in the in the camera. Okay, I'm gonna give you another hint. You oh. open it right there. What well, said battery? Let's start. Hmm. Okay, cool. All right, guys. So we're gonna be teaching her how to actually use the camera and the settings. I've told her, I taught her how to do it before. Um, let's see if you remember what the three things are. The three main settings. Do you remember what they are? Well, I'll tell you what they are, and let's see what you remember what each one does. So, what does the ISO do? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna need a completely new teacher. I've taught her like three times already. Before we even get started with the photos, we're actually gonna switch the lens. So, mom, can you get the 50 mil lens, please? But, yeah, so anyway, let's get focused on the photos here. So, now we have the 50 millimeter lens on, and we're gonna, you know, turn it on and get ready to take some photos. So, yeah, let's get started. Alright, so now that it's my turn to shoot some photos, I'm gonna be um, shooting photos for her Instagram. So because it's Instagram, we want it to be that 4x5, um, you know, layout. So what we're gonna do is turn the camera sideways and then what we're gonna be doing from there is just separating the background from our subject. So our subject in this case is gonna be this thing that she got going on here. Mom, if you look at it over here, point. Yeah, there you go. So this thing, whatever it is, I'm gonna make it look dope or nice. So we're gonna move over oh. So first thing we're gonna do guys, is we're gonna take out the SD card, obviously, and then we're gonna, you do two things, okay? So I think I'm gonna try to get my mom to get into the habit of using the laptop and transporting the, um, or transferring the photos onto the laptop, so that way you can edit um, raw photos. Oh, it's that little car that you play with, the neighborhood. Oh. So we're gonna export all, or import all the photos that we just did, um, or that we just took right now. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna get them all onto the computer, and then we're gonna start editing them so I can teach my mom how to do that. I made two folders, one for the raw photos, so that way if I ever wanna go back and rechange them, I can do that. And then I make another photo of where it just says edited. So if I were to re go back and re-edit something, which I might do later in the future, way later, um, I can just go to the raw files and re-edit them there and then make like another fo folder and say like, you know, edited number two or three or whatever. So we're just importing them right now. They're finishing up and uh, yeah, we'll get back to you guys on to Lightroom. All right, <laughs> let's, let's do it. So what we're gonna do, the first thing we're gonna do is go to import into Lightroom. Since we already have our fo uh, photo, man, I cannot talk. 
minute. Since I already have my photos imported onto the computer, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just find it. So all I have to go is to home decor, <laughs> photos, go to pics, and then go to the raw folder that I already made. And then I import all of those. So from there, what we do is we have them onto Lightroom and then we pretty much just filter out the good fo photos, my goodness. Separate the good photos from the bad ones. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Not and my we'll bad just photos. <laughs> Yeah, my mom takes amazing photos. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, I'm gonna make a time lapse right now of us just being through it, so I'll see you when we're done with that. Alright, guys, so we ended up filtering out to just 13 photos, so now we're gonna start editing them. So my mom only took about three photos for some reason. She, she, and you know, when I first started photography, I was just on a shooting spree. Oh, that photo's going away, actually. Why? It was a camera. I didn't like it. Oh, okay. So if it you don't like lens. something, she the just lens. It, it was the lens. She didn't like the lens because it kept, it was too zoomed in, I guess. All right, so photo number one is this photo right here, guys, that we're going to be looking at. And uh, let's get to editing. So first thing I would do is try to even the lighting. So right now, the brighter parts are way too bright. So I'm going to just even it out. You see how it's a little bit more appealing to look at? I'm gonna increase this contrast just a bit. Not really that much, because I guess since we use the SL3 guys, it kind of already has its own little preset for the looks. So the contrast already has enough. I'm gonna increase the shadow and I'm actually gonna increase the exposure. Why did it, oh, wait, what did it adjust on its own? Whatever. All right, so I'll probably see on the recording or whatever, but I'm gonna lower the exposure to negative one just because it was lower earlier, but yeah, so we're getting the lighting right. It looks pretty good. I usually don't have to mess with the whites or the blacks too much. What I do start to do though is dehaze it just a tad bit, just to give it more, um, almost like a contrast look as well. Give it more um, fo uh, focus on the subject. The clarity for for objects like this, I do do because um, it just helps like the wood pieces. It gives it more clarity as well. And for things that are rugged, I would suggest you do that as well. And I would suggest you get the filter tool or the brush tool, and then you kind of just select over it like this. So um, this is something that you could, you know, keep track of or um, think about. So I selected this part. If you want to see it, you just click here, what you selected. Make sure you kind of just grab everything that you want. All right, so I just want this, these two boards. So I'm gonna select them here. <clears throat> then I'm gonna hide it. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna add clarity and you'll notice it gives it that more rugged look. But now once I add the clarity, it's a little bit too dark. So I'm gonna increase the brightness on it and not that much, just a little bit. And there you go. So I'm actually gonna delete some of the surroundings because now it looks like it's glowing. I don't want that. So already that looks way better. We haven't even messed with the colors guys. So just with the lighting, getting that fixed, Here's the before and after, it looks a way better. So now what we're gonna do is mess with the colors. Um, usually with the vibrance and saturation, I don't mess with it too much, just because I do the majority of the work with the colors. So the HSL tool and the color tool does a fantastic job. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of the blues because on my mom's Instagram page, she doesn't really have blues, right? You don't want blues, right? So what we're gonna do is desaturate it. And you'll notice if we saturate it all the way, you can see where all of it's at. Right, and it's like, well, I don't have blue lights. How does that happen? Right, it's just, it's just natural. It's how it is. So you can desaturate it, but on top of that, I would increase the lightness, uh, the luminance. Sorry, and that just kind of gives it a little bit more of a umph in that area of blue um. to make it more white. <laughs> yeah. So then also the purples kind of go with the blue. They're in the same palette, their color palette, palette, whatever it's called. So desaturate it, increase the luminance just a little bit, even if you don't notice it. And honestly, you can use this histogram tool. I never use it just because I just go by what I see. And so far I've done so well with it. So awesome, cool. So I think this is gonna be it for photo number one. I think we can move on. Here's the before and after. So now we're gonna move on to photo number two. We're gonna be editing three photos, guys. So let's pick another one. Okay guys, so we're gonna be working on photo number two. This is one of the ones that I took. So again, we're gonna fix the lighting. Honestly, it looks good already. I'm just gonna increase it just a tad bit, lower the highlights, increase the shadow. Something you can do guys is increase the contrast to a good amount and also raise the shadows just a tad bit. And what that's gonna do is it's kinda kinda, um, when you're 
when you're making the contrast, you're separating the brighter parts from the darker parts. But if you want the darker parts to just be a little bit more brighter, that's what the shadow's for. So now that we've done that, again, we don't really have to mess with the whites and the blacks. Um, and I don't think we really need to mess with the vibrance and the saturation either. So what we're gonna do, first thing is get rid of the blue. So you'll notice that in the back, if we saturate it all the way, desaturate it, brighten it up, gives it a lot more of a lively feel. And we're gonna mess with the greens just a tad bit. And I actually want them to be true green, so I'm gonna have them a little bit towards the right side. I'm gonna saturate them and bring up the uh, luminance on that as well. Another thing we're gonna mess with is the yellow um, color and we're gonna see what that does. Okay, so it kills a lot and I don't like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'll, I'll desaturate the bottom right here, but um, I'm gonna leave the yellow in the rest of the image. I think that'll make it look good. So what we're gonna do is go to the, this tab here and then or get the brush tool and just kind of paint over all of this area that I don't want to be yellow. This is pretty much gonna be the final image. Um, again, I'm gonna add some clarity going back into it. It looks like it needs some. I'm gonna dehaze it a bit just to give it more color. I think it looks a little bit better now. So here's photo number two guys, on to photo number three. So I'm gonna showcase the three photos on the screen right now. And these are pretty much the photos that we came up with. And we'll probably finish editing all of the other ones off camera. And if you want to see all of the photos, you can go check them out on my mom's Instagram page. At, what is it? Uh, Selena's. <laughs> well, tell home, the camera. Selena's home style. Selena's home style. Okay, on Instagram, I'll put a, a link to her Instagram in the description below, so you can check her out and comment on the photos and tell us <laughs> what you thought of them. So. That's pretty much it guys, thank you for watching, have yourself a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching this, and I hope you learned something new. Peace. Good job. Oh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I wasn't recording. Are you serious? <laughs>